Hi everyone! Today I will be doing a How I Take Notes video, and I will basically be taking you through my main note taking process. I'll be taking some notes for biology, and I'll kind of show you how I do it. The materials I use don't really matter that much to me, but I will list out some of my favorites. For paper, I love all the products from Kokio, like the binder notebook, the campus notebook, and the loose leaf paper. For writing utensils, I prefer gel pens over pencils, and today I'll be using this Zebra Sarasa one. I also have a zebra mild liner, which I mostly just use for organization and sometimes annotations. But taking effective notes doesn't depend on the materials you use at all, and none of these materials are required. I always like to have correction tape around, but honestly, during fast lectures, a lot of times I'll just cross stuff out when I mess up because it's faster for me that way. And I also always prefer tape over fluid because it doesn't need time to dry and it looks really good. So now let's get into my note taking process. The method that I have been using the most lately is known as the outline method. The most general information begins on the left and the more specific notes are indented. I'll usually start out by writing a header. I know a lot of people do calligraphy titles, but simply writing it out in a zebra mild liner is enough for me. And a lot of times, I also like to coordinate my highlighter color with the unit or chapter that I'm on for additional organization. So I'll use a different color for different chapters. Um, for these notes specifically, the main topic was respiration and I decided to just write a paragraph type thing of introductory information at the top. So I included the main vocabulary terms and just some overall information. But yeah, this is real time footage of me taking notes out of a textbook. I know that it might be more difficult to take notes during a lecture, but I don't really change any of my methods. One of my main tips would be to just use abbreviations and symbols, as this really cuts down time. Notes don't have to be grammatically correct, as long as they make sense to you. Try to also do your best to filter out unnecessary information, because your notes should definitely not be a transcript of your teacher's lecture or just a direct copy of the textbook. Of course, the way I take notes also does depend on the subject that I'm taking notes for. For example, for math, I mostly just prefer using example problems as part of my notes, so I would have to modify the outline method in that case. As you might be able to tell, my first main point is about the human respiratory system, so I wrote that as a subtitle. And beneath the subtitle, I began with bullet points. You can kind of notice how I include different types of bullet points and indentations to add more detailed information. Here, I just went back to add some more details. This isn't necessarily part of the outline method, but you can kind of see how I only used up the left side of the page at first, and am arranging the information in two columns. I prefer to do this sometimes because I feel like my bullet points tend to vary drastically in length, so some longer bullet points can make it to the other side, but the shorter bullet points won't be able to, and this just leaves empty space. Personally, I feel like arranging the information in two columns also makes the right side of the page look a little bit neater. So now I'm just going to highlight and annotate my notes a bit more. 
I didn't do my annotations immediately after writing because the pen ink that I used does tend to smear. I like to highlight over things like vocabulary words and subtitles, and I'll typically underline any important information. I would have also used the mild liner to draw a box around any math formulas, chemical equations, diagrams, etc. And here, since I wrote in two columns, I use the highlighter to more clearly divide the columns. To just recap everything I mentioned, I started off the notes with a small introductory paragraph at the top and highlighted the vocabulary term. I then wrote out and highlighted my subtopic and added information using different bullet points.